Hi guys, this is Snacker99 from VentralFence.com and uh, I'm here today making a video of my discus. Uh, th this is my pair of uh, Millennium Golds, uh, albino Millennium Golds and you can see they're holding a whole bag full of fry. Now, this might not seem to be a very surprising thing but actually this is one of the results of my experiments to try to get the fry to attach to albino parents and for some of you who don't know uh, a lot of people have been having a lot of issues trying to get fry to attach to albino uh, parents because uh, well either the, they, maybe they couldn't see the parents or uh, perhaps there was something else going on and so I figured I'd, try, I'd do a couple of experiments to, to see how to make fry attach to um, uh, albino parents and this is one of them I came up with uh, you can see this is my pair of uh, Millennium Golds and right now they're in a 29 gallon that's half full and uh, I, I lowered the water level down so that the the fry can attach better this is actually day one of attaching uh, this morning they were still wigglers, wigglers and so this is a very good result now just to show you what I did um, I actually colored the water blue. Uh, I don't know if I can. You can see it. Well, maybe not very good here, but uh, the water is actually tinted blue. From I use methylene blue to kind of tint the, the the water blue a little bit. And what that does is it filters out some of the light, and so it filters out the red light. Uh, and uh, basically, when the light hits the discus, it it actually makes them look darker. And uh, I figured if the discus look darker, um, that the fry might be able to find them a little bit easier and that and maybe attach themselves. And it looks like they're doing it. They're actually hovering around, actually attaching themselves. And I mean, they they look kind of weird. I mean, you look at them in this shot. I mean, you can obviously see some of the weird coloration. Some of the the, the, the darker portions are kind of enhanced a little bit. Now let me show you a normal pearl diamond. I got this tank. Believe it or not, this one, this one, this one, and, and the one behind there, those are all pearl diamonds. Now the difference is, this guy has been color fed. I've been feeding them tetra color bits over there. This guy seems to be the one that eats the most uh, color bits, and so he's kind of turned really, really orange. These two eat a little bit of it, uh, and they've kind of put on a little orange tint but that one back there you can see he's still yellow and this guy I'm still trying to get him to eat color bits and he still won't he's still on blood worms and um, beef heart but he just won't touch the color bits at all and you can see he's the the most yellow of them all and uh, basically what I did with that pair you can see they're a little darker was to color feed them so that they kind of turn orange or turn red like this guy over here and then I put them in their breeding tank and then what I did was I tinted the, the water blue and that caused them to actually you can see she's come up to the tank you can see she's a little bit yellow in the head too but what, what that caused them what, what happened was the blue tint kind of caused them to be really really dark and you can see the farther they are the darker they are and so you know if you have fry hovering oh, she she really doesn't like that I'm messing with her fry uh, the farther they are the darker they are because the the, the blue light kind of filters away all the red light and that's why uh, when you look at them or, the orange fish they kind of look black and so this I, I believe this kind of helps the fry to adhere themselves to the parents because when they're when they're swimming about they're looking for something dark and the farther they are uh, the, the darker the parents seem to them and so it helps with, you can see, she's moved back and then she's kind of turned dark. And now she's coming forward again. Uh, a little, and you can actually see that she's kind of lighter when she comes closer and she's, not, she's backing away. But uh, I thought I'd share a video, just some of my experiments. And uh, I mean, it might be some other factors that cause them to adhere this time. But I know this is the first time I've had. Uh, this this pair is breeding for me for the past few months and every time I had to actually artificially raise the fry this is the first time I've actually seen the, the fry kind of attach themselves uh, because of this this kind of situation uh, with the blue water and everything so um, I thought I'd post a video uh, let me know if you have any comments uh, 
uh, you know, try it for yourself and see if it works. Uh, I just, just a quick note: the, the the color feeding takes a long time. It takes a while. It took me uh, about you know three to four months to get him to change from that color to this nice dark color. And you can imagine if the water was was kind of blue and it blocks away the red light, this guy will appear black. And which is the kind of which is the goal we want when we're trying to get albino fry to attach. Anyway, that's my video. Uh, let me know if you have any comments. You can email me marketventralfins.com, marketventralfins.com. Uh, and uh, well, I'll be glad to uh, uh, have a discussion with you or something. Anyway, that's my video. Uh, I'll talk to you next time. Bye.